All right, hello and welcome back to Zelda 2, The Adventure of Link. Let's dive into the Three-Eyed Rock Palace. This is another palace that, to a degree, you can kind of collect the item and then come back and you really don't lose anything. There's a point bag up there that we don't need to bother going after. It's also one this way that we don't actually need to go bother going after, but I will because it's a little bit more fun than just wasting a jump spell. Alright, so let's jump up here, avoid the uh, enemies. Now, yeah, there's really nothing overly special in here. We'll kill this guy. Oh, well, that was poorly done. Um, yeah, it's a little bit longer to go through the bottom just because you have to break all these bricks, but you know, avoid the uh, floating eyes up there dropping fire on you. They won't drop that far through all those bricks. Um, as I said, we've already kind of maxed out our um, experience, so there's really no reason, per se, to collect these uh, points bags. Um, and this one over here that we eyeballed before is, unless I'm mistaken, only 100 experience anyway. Um, so probably not worth the mana to cast a jump spell to jump up there. So we absolutely can just skip by both of them and then utilize our new skeleton key to unlock that. We can jump past these wizards here. And then there's going to be a... Oh, that's right. I <laughs> forgot I don't reflect on. Um, take out the Doom Knocker. And carry on. Now, we have an interesting enemy. You don't really need to kill this guy. You can just back him up. I prefer to kill him, because if you knock him off that ledge, he'll come back. And you have to deal with him later. Potentially. You could probably ignore him the whole time, but it's just more fun to actually kill him. Now, we have an interesting situation where we have this big hole in the ground. And if you remember, someone in... Um, the last town told us that the hole in the palace is an endless trap, which is quasi-true, but it's not really a trap. We can just jump across, or we can just fall. And it ultimately turns into a loop. I'm going to go to the left side right here. Again, a thing that really we don't need to do, um, but I have get enjoyment out of killing all the enemies, so wow. There we go. Uh, oops. Take this guy. Oh, man. Take that guy out. And we can collect that as well. And then we can fall down again. I don't remember. I don't, yeah, I was going to say, I don't think there's anything on the left side here. And then another pee bag over here. But now, if we fall yet again, actually, yeah, let's just deal with this right here. Should be one more. Oh, thought there was a... Blue Knight, Blue Iron Knuckle, but there isn't. Now we should end up back where we started. So, let's go over here again. Can take care of this guy. Don't want to get too close or he'll wander into us when he walks forward. Which I always found to be very rude. And then we can continue on this way. And this will bring us over to the item in the dungeon. Um, Alright, this is a room where I probably shouldn't get hit nearly as often as I do, but such is life. Um, as much as I always kill everything, I actually tend to leave these guys alone, so I just don't feel like going down there. Maybe I'll get them later, we'll see. Depends on my mood. Um, so hopefully we get a cru- no, alright. Alright, well let's just take care of this Doom Knocker here. go. Um, now in this next room there is a false floor and I'll show you exactly where it is and you don't actually need the jump spell to get past it but I usually use it anyway because it's just wide enough where it's hard to do the jump and I don't feel like messing it up. So after the third statue, one, two, three, after three bricks is where the jump begins, or the hole begins, rather. So we're just going to use our jump spell and just clear it easily. We have these bricks here, so you can't use fairy, not that there's really any reason to. And then we come in here, we have 
a repeat battle against uh, Revanoak, if I'm saying that correctly. But he is even easier now that we have kind of mastered dealing with the blue iron knuckles. There we go. Seem to have not mastered. Oh, wow. Eh, let's just do this quickly. Not too often that I get hit by the horse portion. Apparently it's not too often that I hit the horse either. There we go. Um, oh, this is going to be annoying to get down from. Probably going to have to eat a hit. Oh well. Ooh. Oh, nice. Alright. Wow. Pretty sure I hit him on both of those times. Um, kind of got screwed out of those two hits, in my opinion. Alright. But we can continue on, and now we will collect the cross. Now, the cross is not an item that you have to get, um, but a lot of those kind of um, floating moas, the, the eyes, can be invisible in some of the... Oh, I think... Mm, I don't remember. Nope, that was a waste. Oh, well. Um, they are invisible in some of the later screens in the two coming areas. Um, so, having this cross makes them visible. This should be where the hole is. There we go. You don't have to drop down. Um, there's nothing exceptionally special over here, but I like to, for completeness sake, this direction, there's just a red, I think, iron knuckle, and um, a pea bag, so really don't need to go, but... Nothing lost, so why not? And then over here, we have a couple of... Uh, speedy versions of these guys that can be annoying. Kind of wish that I had angled that better. That's what I was hoping. Wow, hoping would happen. Um, all right, let's continue on. Get out of here. No reason to be here any longer. Nothing special in here. We can, um, you know, use a reflect if you want to take those guys out. There's not much of a reason to. And this will bring us back to where that Doom Knocker was before. So we'll just kind of rotate all the way through. There we go. And let's see if we can get this jump. Uh, very poorly done. But it's fine. There is nothing to lose here now. So yeah, we could go after that pea bag um, and take out this blue iron knuckle. So why not? Let's have some fun. You know what? I've already given up. I don't want to do it. I don't feel like dealing with the uh, little flaming heads right now. I'm just too obnoxious of an enemy to have to deal with. So... I think there might be one blue iron knuckle left as we come down here. And we'll just kill him quickly and then carry on. Now, ultimately, where we want to go is right here, but there's something I want to grab first, so we're going to fall through here, and then one more. Hopefully, we get all the way over. Good. This guy... Oh. Alright, we got to do a whole cycle again. Um, that will 50% of the time be a red potion. Maybe might be more than 50%. I'm not sure what the actual uh, odds are for those. You just want to be holding down the right key so you go over... There we go. Um, and let's just make sure we pull the refill, we grab that, and now we can continue on. So, if that was the first floor and this is the second, we ultimately want to get to the third floor. And I missed. That's embarrassing. Alright, that's the fourth floor. First floor. Second floor. And third floor. Alright, so, I'm gonna go this way. I'm sure there's a blue, yeah. So yeah, if you have not kind of mastered the blue iron knuckles by now, then this dungeon is an absolute bear to get through. Unless you just skip past them, which is very viable. 
Um, you do, however, want to make sure that you have a lot of magic left at this point. I think we have... yeah. Let's... Alright, let's just... there we go. I don't remember if these are ones that respawn or not, but hopefully. Good. Oops. Alright, there we go. And there we go. Um, yeah, you want to have a lot of magic left here, not just for the sake of, you know, healing or things like that if you need it, but also because of a couple of spots we have coming up, one of which I think is in the next room, if I remember correctly. If not, it's very soon. But yeah, here. So, you literally have to use the fairy spell to get across here. It's just a big lava pit with these guys floating around. There's nothing else to it, another way across. So you have to have the magic available to you. And that is not the only time that's going to happen. Let's just get him off screen. Now, we don't actually have to go down right here. Um, I think I will just for completeness. So, yeah, let's head down here. Should be a gap room. And then over to the left is one of my least favorite types of rooms, so I'm actually going to avoid it. It's one of the ones with those floating Mao head dog heads um, that just always seem to destroy me somehow. So we're just not going to bother going there. I think the only thing in there is a pee bag. Alright. I always like to wait for that to get out of the way. Um, okay. And yeah, so this is the last room, and we can turn around now because we'll actually come back here. We don't have to. Again, I'm really doing it more to be complete than anything else. Um, and there's a red potion that I want to grab just to have kind of full magic, but I wanted to come down first just to um, kind of kill those enemies and make sure that there's no risk of taking damage when you come back later, or at least less risk. That was a waste, but it's fine. No, actually, I want to kill this guy. I don't have to deal with them later either. Perfect, thank you all for lining up so well. So, down this way, actually I think there's another uh, River Noack, yeah. Hope they don't embarrass myself quite as much this time. Already off to a better start, there we go. Oops, there you go. Absolutely do not need that key, I just get him because it feels weird to leave him behind. Now in this room, again, this is another situation where you don't need to use jump, but I do just for kind of safety's sake. So come up here, and you don't need to come this way. Um, I like to try to draw this blue knuckle out as opposed to chasing him down. Um, just makes dealing with him a little bit easier. Because behind him are there we go two of these guys that can be very difficult to deal with effectively. But there is also an extra life that I like to get um, because why wouldn't you? You just kind of eat the hits from them. Um, and now here is an area where we need to have magic again. Oops, let's not mess this up. That would be annoying. All right, so hopefully we actually get, very good. I'm gonna use one life as I do this. And then we're gonna save the rest of our magic to get out. Hopefully that guy gets stuck up there. Perfect. All right. So 
Assuming we don't take any uh, significant hits here, we should be in pretty decent shape going up into kind of the final section. Okay. These wizards should be gone. Oh, come on. Whatever. It's fine. And you can see kind of going in towards the end here that we do have a pretty good amount of um, experience. So it's not by any means crazy to take the time uh, before you come into this palace to kind of grind a little bit for the sake of getting uh, up to 9,000 experience where you'll get an extra um, life. But it's certainly not necessary and might be worth you know, a little more time than you really want to spend. Ooh, almost missed it. Um, all right, so yeah, use the fairy spell here, and then you can catch yourself and bring yourself over here. Another guy that we don't need to kill, but I will, because who does who does he think he is, challenging us like that? Um, all right, so here we come to the boss room, and this is Barba. Um, Barba is kind of the precursor to Bulbagia. Uh, in the later games, and I think there's actually some versions of this game where the name was actually changed. And probably don't need jump, but I'll use it because, oh my god. Whatever, it's fine. Um, this is possibly my least favorite boss in the game, largely for that exact reason, because the boss doesn't tend to kill you, the boss room tends to kill you. Um, to the point that the kind of strategy I use is generally just to move as little as possible. Um, I like to use the Reflect spell because that allows you to actually block that Fire Breath. You can, if you time it correctly, hit him on the way down as well. Um, yeah, it's can be oddly difficult to actually catch the chin with the up thrust, um, and I don't like to risk getting too close to the edge and potentially falling off. So I just played a little calmer and safer because really the odds of you dying from being hit are very low, especially if you have full magic and heal mid-fight. I mean, it's just not too much of a threat. Don't bother trying to chase him over there. It's not worth the risk of falling. Um, you are not that desperate for hits. See, I mean, it's really very easy provided you don't fall in the lava like I did. But, alright. So, that is finished. And yeah, so we got within 3,000 experience at the end. Of the end. But, we will ratchet that up here to 9. And if, as I kind of mentioned before, you fill up to the next experience level when you've already reached level 8. You can do one of three things. One, you can fill your life up. Two, you can fill your magic up. Or, what you should obviously pick is to get an extra life by clicking attack. So, that will kind of <laughs> restore the life that I wasted by falling in the lava there. But, after that, we will step outside and I'll end the video. And next time, we're going to head through uh, the Valley of Death, which I guess is the upgraded version of Death Mountain. Um, and we're going to head off to the Great Palace. But till then, see ya.